Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our presentation. I really appreciate your coming today. And it is the final presentation tonight. So please pay attention again. <laughs> and my name is Kaori. And our presentation topic is Golden Japanese Holiday. In the world, each country has own traditional holidays. For example, you have Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Even Japanese people don't celebrate such a big holidays. We have own traditional holidays. Originally, Japan was family-oriented society, partially because Japanese society was built based on farming. This society cultivated Japanese long history and traditional culture. By celebrating holidays, people can expose themselves to a bit part of the past. Today, we chose three celebrations from Japanese family holidays. First, I will introduce 753. My name is Rikako. Next, I will talk about coming of age day. My name is Arisa. Finally, I will tell you about New Year's Day. Our common point is moving on to next new life stage. People treasure celebrating uh, the, each member's growth in the family. Now, let's start with 753. In America, there are many holidays that children are excited. However, it is for everybody, not only for children. Some American people said it is because every day is Children's Day. <laughs> On the other hand, Japan has many holidays for only children, such as Dolls Festival, Children's Day, and 753. It is called Shichigo-san in Japan. Have you ever heard Shichigo-san? No, no. After you hear my presentation, you will be Shichigo-san expert. <laughs> now, I would like to tell you based on three topics such as what is Shichigo-san, peculiar origin, and modern style. First of all, what is Shichigo-san? Since 17th century, it is an event on November 15th to celebrate the growth of, of, of boys at ages 3 and 5 years old and girls at ages 3 and 7 years old. The celebration is one of the rites of passage to appreciate how a child could grow up safely and to pray the happiness in the future. Fortunately, you can participate in this ceremony. She is so beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> if you have children who are three, five, or seven years old, you, have, you should celebrate now. <laughs> and commonly, the children wear the kimono and go into a shrine. Then, it, and it is first time for children to wear the kimono, so it is very big event. Then, the priest of the shrine gives the candy called chitoseame to children. The chitoseame is the fortunate stick of long sweet candy sold as bringer of good luck. The chitose means 1,000 year, which represents longevity, and ame means candy. So chitoseame means longevity candies. This candy is red and white in a fancy paper box with a picture of crane and turtle and pine tree and bamboo. 
because gray and turtle is famous symbol of longevity. Also, pine tree and bamboo is evergreen even in winter. Excuse me. <laughs> Since its appearance considered symbol of good luck in Japan. Thank you. <laughs> and then, can you guess how they studied celebration? Studied celebration, Shichigo san. There were peculiar origins, such as environment and belief. In the, in the past, uh, because of lack of nutrition, food, or money, the children died easily. Therefore, people didn't list their children's name on family register until they become seven years old. Also, the children be believed that to be a gift from God. So sometimes under seven years old, children were called between heaven and earth because it wasn't sure they could survive. Now I would like to tell you special number. The order of 753 is unique, isn't it? Usually we count small number to large number, like 357. However, in this case, we count the number 753. It is because, as I said, seven years old was most important age in the childhood in the past. Also, people believe that at number is good fortune. The belief came from China. In addition, in November, there were full moon every year, so it was believed that the demon stayed their own house, so the demon couldn't interrupt their celebration on November 15th. Now, I would like to introduce modern style. Today, people celebrate with their own style, so some people don't care about exact date or going to a shrine. However, this day is still a big event for children and parents. One of the parents said, usually, my girl is so naughty. However, when she wore the kimono, she became elegant, even though we didn't teach her. <laughs> it shows that the kimono is special for children, and it makes them gorgeous. Commonly, the plan of that day depends on family. However, the various photography companies also have the convenient plan for making memories. I would like to introduce one more example. In 2007, Shichigo san was held for international children who are from Western countries and Asia. They participate in this ceremony and they enjoy Japanese culture. If one of the children, if one of the parents is Japanese, they still want to celebrate Shichigo san. And it shows that Shichigo san is beginning to be global. Finally, Shichigo san is evolving. Look at this picture. This is my mother in the 1970s. And this even cuter girl is me. <laughs> In the 1990s, finally, this is my cousin. In the 2000s, did you notice something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Each picture is different, and type of kimono is type of kimono have changed over time. However, basically, we inherit tradition such as wearing kimono, having chitoseame, and celebrating with family. Conclusion, Shichigo san is an amazing children's holiday because it is first time for children to wear the kimono, 
So it is very good opportunity to experience Japanese culture. Also, it has evolved far from past to today and inherit tradition. In November, you will see beautiful children everywhere in Japan. Thank you for your listening. <laughs> now, it's time for Rikako. Please enjoy with Rikako. Thank you, Kaori. Next, I would like to introduce Coming of Age Day. Coming of Age Day is Seijin no Hi in Japanese. So, at first, what do you imagine from this word? Coming of Age Day is Japanese national holiday and it is the second Monday in January. So, this, this day is celebration of adulthood when people turn 20 years old. So, in order to imagine about coming of age day, I would like to talk about it in more detail. First of all, I would like to talk about, in, talk about the meaning, then next turning to the origin. After that, I will describe the, today's coming of age day. So I would like to start with meaning. What is coming of age day? <laughs> so, Coming of Age Day is Japanese national holiday to celebrate the entering adulthood. In 1948, Coming of Age Day was established as new national holiday. The purpose is the purpose is celebrate the adult the new adult new, the new adult <laughs> excuse me the new adult growth and celebrate the new adult who, who have responsibility and consciousness as an adult. So since then, so since then, uh, Japanese people have had coming of age day every, uh, every so excuse me. So every year, Japanese people have had coming of age day for each year of new adult. Next, I would like to talk about one more important meaning. Coming of age day is rites of passage for Japanese people to become an adult. As you know, American people also have rites of passage. The, at 16 years old, American people can get driver license. And 18 years old, American people can vote and smoke. Then 20 years old, they can drink alcohol. So American people can American people become an adult step by step. In, on the other hand, how about Japanese people? According, my co, according to my co-presenter Kaori, 753 is first rite of passage for Japanese people. Next are 18 years old, because Japanese people can get can get driver's license. And most significant age is 20 years old. 20 years old. They are permitted to legally, legally drink, smoke, and vote. From this age, Japanese people are considered as adults. So you can understand how important for Japanese people 20 years old is. Now, I would, now let's look at the origin. I would like to explain two origins of coming of age day. Firstly, the custom to celebrate was the custom to celebrate began in 8th century. The, at that time, the custom was used by aristocratic class, and the custom to celebrate was to change their appearance from child to adult. So boys and girls wore adult clothing and changed their hairstyle. That is the one of origin of coming of age day. Next, let me explain another origin. In 1945, Japan was, Japan was defeated in World War II. So Japanese people had to make new Japan, especially young people. Then, in 1946, the ceremony called Youth Festival was held in 
held in central Japan. The reason why this ceremony was held was to give young people a bright future and hope. So through this ceremony, young people were encouraged and required to have, a, to have responsibility and consciousness as an adult. So coming of age day was made by these two origins. Now, I, I will move on to today's coming of age day. Many ceremonies are held by each district on coming of age day. New adults attend to these ceremony and listen to congratulatory speech by mayor or some famous guest. After this ceremony, new, many new adults go to class reunion with old classmates. These two events are typical activity for new adults on coming of age day. Now, next, let me talk about closing a little bit. Uh, new, uh, no, sorry, excuse me. Many young women wear, wear Japanese traditional clothing, Japanese traditional dress called furisode on coming of age day. So today, also, I'm wearing furisode. Thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, furisode is the most gorgeous type of kimono, and it has long sleeves. On the other hand, many young men wear suits on coming of age day. Sometimes <laughs> sometime a few men wear kimono like this picture. Finally, I would like to talk about new adult behavior on coming of age day. As I said, new ad as I said, coming of age day is celebration of the entering adulthood. So new adults have to act appropriately and respectfully on this day. However, there are few new adults who misunderstand what it means to be an adult. So look at this picture. <laughs> a few men, a few new adults drink too much alcohol on coming of age day. And they do, they behave poorly, such as causing fight or being disruptive. But that is an unusual thing. Most new adults, most new adults behave as adults. <laughs> and next coming of age day is my turn. But don't worry about me. <laughs> of course, I will behave as an elegant adult. In my conclusion, Coming of age day is important passage for Japanese people to become an adult. <laughs> Excuse me. So on this day, new adults are <laughs> Excuse me. New adults are new adults are celebrated as one of the member in society. However, becoming new adults are required. <laughs> Sorry, required accepting responsibility and consciousness as adults. So coming of age day is good opportunity to reconsider what is me, what it means to be an adult. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's all, that's that's all I have to tell you about coming of age day. And so I hope you can under, you can imagine more easier than before. So next, my cooperator, Alisa, will talk about New Year's Day. So please enjoy her presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Rikako for sharing with us about coming of age day in Japan. But now I'm going to talk about New Year's Day. So what is New Year's Day for Japanese? How about you? I will introduce how Japanese spend New Year's Day. In Japan, New Year's Day is not only celebration, but also family holidays. Most importantly, in the past, people, people consider themselves 
one, one year older on January 1st. But now, people consider themselves to be one older on their, on their, on their birthdays. As well, America, as well as Americans spend Christmas Day with their family, Japanese do that on that day. Today, I will focus on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Then, I will explain old style and current style. Now let's move on to New Year's Eve. The first, the most Japanese people stay up late on New Year's Eve to wait for God of next year. And then they, they eat noodle, a special kind of noodle called Toshikoshi Soba, which means year crossing noodles. The, and the soba is very thin noodle, the black, the black wheat pasta. The people in Japan want to want to live long life, even if it is very thin, nothing ex extraordinary successful. But it is required to finish eating noodles before midnight. Otherwise, it is says the the financial fortune will not come to you next year. That's a big happening. <laughs> uh -oh. The people, some, some people go to shrine or temple, but others stay in their house. If you go to temple, you can hear striking bells. The Buddhist temple starts striking bells before midnight and keep striking bells up to 108 times. In Buddhist thinking, humans are, human are born with 108 evil, evil, evil thoughts and evil thoughts and ugly desires. But by striking, to, by striking bells, these kind of thoughts or desires are removed one by one. Now this is the, the striking. Thus, visiting shrine or temple is called Hatsumode, which means the first visit. The people, people usually don't pay attention to which they are going, shrine or temple. But as you can see, everyone, as you can see, everyone can enjoy their midnight in many ways. So now, let me move on to New Year's Day. Japan, Japanese, in Japan, Japanese have traditional cultures. The, each of them have evolved now, so I'm going to compare old and current one. The first is Osechi. I will describe Osechi. The Osechi is a special Japanese food for New Year's Day. Now this is Osechi's, Osechi's picture. But cooking, Ose, cooking Osechi is the past, in the past, cooking Osechi were, were entirely women's shoulders. So wives and mothers are extremely busy at the end of December. The Osechi consists of about 10 ingredients. The, let, me some, let me give you some representative example. The first is, first is black soybeans. The black soybeans mean to stay healthy. Moreover, black is a color to keep evil away, keep evil spirits away. The next is shrimp. The shrimp, sh shrimp means hope for longevity. Now look at the picture. The shrimp, its shrimp shape is bended like all the people. <laughs> so all of them are prepared before mid, before January first. However, current, however, recently 
many people by Oseji and choose Chinese style or Western style. According to Japanese newspaper, in October, some department store go ready to sell Oseji, but Japanese eat Oseji in January. So, so people can order their Oseji in advance. Now, since people buy Oseji the, and have it delivered, this burden on mothers has decreased. Moreover, the variety of Oseji by region has been diminishing. The next, I'm going to move on to the Otoshidama. Otoshidama is the New Year's gift. The children get it from their relatives or parents. The custom is started fourth century. The reason why Otoshidama started is the people offered mochi, the mochi called Otoshidama, which made from rice, a rice to the gods. The day of a mochi to the gods. Then these mochi were distributed to children. By eating mochi, they can get one year older. But now, these days, these days, the new otoshidama is the New Year's gift, which is usually, usually, yeah, cash like ten dollars and one hundred dollars. So children have gotten money as auto, as New Year's gift since 14th century. The, according to some survey, the average amount of new otoshidama for elementary school students is between two hundred fifty dollars to three hundred three hundred dollars. So co-presented the Rikako said, people under 20 years old are regarded as children. Some, so they often get otoshidama until that day. Actually, I'm still 19 years old, so I accept otoshidama in advance. Please don't hesitate. <laughs> yes. In my conclusion, so unlike America, Japanese celebrate New Year's Day magnificently. The way of, style, way of celebrating is very various by household and region. But basically, but sorry, but basically, the people celebrate New Year's Day in same ways, and they celebrate with their family. The some traditional cultures have reminded, but others has has have evolved and changes, but they need to hand down traditional culture like New Year's Day. It is not too much to say that the New Year's Day is the biggest holiday to represent family. Thank you for listening. Our conclusion, as you can see, these family holidays are essence of our nation's consciousness showing Japanese culture and history. That they offer the opportunity for people to be able to to be able to reconsider the change of seasons in their daily life. We hope our presentation could be helpful for understanding Japanese holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Does anyone have any question? Yes, sure. sure. Just for Shichiko san, yes. what kind of activities do you have for children? That Question is what kind of activity have we have on 
Children are s h i c h i g o s a n s day. Uh, commonly, the children wear the kimono and going to take a picture. And it is most important activity for parents. <laughs> also, they go to a shrine and have a big dinner. I want to add one more information. <laughs> so, in my case, I went to shrine and I, I had a big, big ceremony with other others children. Then I got, I remember I got gold medal. Does anyone have any more questions? Yes, yes ma'am. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite,、ah, the question is which celebration, which holiday what do, I, do we like?、Mm -hmm. So, my favorite,、mm, I think, coming of age day. <laughs> But I, next. January, but I'm really looking forward to coming of age day. I think in my case, it is 753. <laughs> <laughs> Because, in, yeah,、uh, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Because uh, they, uh, we, we, we can wear kimono, and it is a very good opportunity to wear the kimono. Because they, we don't have such、uh, many o p p o r t u n i t i e s to wear the kimono. Also, the picture is very beautiful. In my case, <laughs> my favorite holiday is, of course, New Year's Day. <laughs> Because we can last, last New Year's Day every day. No, every year. <laughs> no, every year. And I, I can eat delicious, delicious food, but I gain weight. But I, I don't care about it. <laughs> Does anyone.、Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Do you own your kimono? Or is it you borrow? And how expensive? <laughs> yes, question is、um, Do I borrow this kimono? Yes, I borrow Japanese Culture Center. <laughs> And I have. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Masa. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, I have my free sode for, next,、uh, for coming of age day. <laughs> In my case,、uh, cost is. Eight. $10,000. $10,000. $10,000. My, my mother,、uh, my grandmother was bought me.、Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you.